Hi everybody, Lisa Simmons here. Today I'm going to do a demonstration for a little cordless mixer to see if it uh, will work in mixing paints. I bought this off of eBay for $6.99, so it's nothing industrial or anything, but I just wanted to, before I invest in a really good one, I just wanted to see if the concept would even work for mixing paint. The reason I decided to do this is uh, my daughter and I spent 10 hours a few weeks ago mixing 29 bottles of paint and I have no physical limitations or disabilities and my wrist was killing me by the end of the day. So I was thinking about people that do have physical disabilities and limits and arthritis or whatever how difficult it must be for them to do uh, mixing of paints. So I'm going to show you how I mix my Floetrol and Gluol mixture and then I'm going to show you how I mix it in the mixing cup with the paint to make a bottle of paint. Uh, I have already pre-strained my Flood Floetrol I always strain it first because I don't like the Floetrol boogers that end up in the paint if you don't. Um, so that's just a little hint for you guys. It saves in the long run, saves your painting, saves time picking Floetrol boogers out of them. And it keeps um, from ruining the continent, continuity of your paintings. Okay, so we're gonna start First, with my cup that I use for mixing my medium. This is a cup and I have it marked off in thirds. I use one third of the Elmer's Glue All and two thirds of the Flood Flow Troll as my medium. So I am going to start by pouring the Elmer's Glue All, if I can get it unstuck. I buy these by the gallon, by the way, because it's much more cost effective. And it looks like it's time to make another trip to Lowe's to buy more. So there I have it to my line for one third of the cup. And then I'm going to add the pre-strained flow troll into here for the other two-thirds of the cup. It might be just a tad under two-thirds, but um, it'll still work. It doesn't have to be exactly precise because there are some people that they just uh, use the Elmer's Glue All or they use all Floetrol, um, but I like to mix them both, and I find that the third to two-third ratio works best for me. Okay, the moment of truth. I'm going to put the mixer in it before I turn it on so there's not a lot of splashing. This is a battery operated. It takes two AA batteries to mix. This cup might be a little bit deep for this. I'm going up to the hilt, but it is touching the bottom, so that's good. Seems to be mixing okay. When mixing these two, since they're white, it's kind of hard to tell when they're really mixed, except the consistency. I can tell by that because the um, Elder's Glue All is quite a bit thicker than the Flow Troll. So. Seems to be working pretty well. I'm not killing my wrist either. Make sure you stop it before you pull it out. You're gonna have a mess. Okay. It feels by the feel of the consistency. It feels like it's mixed pretty well. 
then again it's going to be mixed again when I uh, when I put my paint in the cup so that's another um, chance for it to be mixed again I'm try turning this on and see if I get rid of any of that nope uh, I think I was going to create a big mess there <laughs> okay I got these um, Grumbacher paints from Jerry's Artorama and it was a really good sale these were 345 each which is like almost half of what they are at Michael's so um, I would suggest going to Jerry's for uh, supplies when they have their sale because they have some fantastic sales uh, I actually have this in my unboxing video that's going to be coming out in the next day or two so I want to mix enough to fill this bottle or almost fill this bottle this is a 16 ounce bottle I usually just really fill it to 12 ounces and uh, that leaves a four ounce room in it so that you can shake it up really well before you use it each time and I got this measuring cup at Walmart this is what I used for measuring all uh, mixing all my paints I don't really use the the number so much as because each paint has a different consistency and each paint takes a different amount of my pouring medium like craft paints are already much thinner so they don't need as much pouring medium as the artist grade paints so I'm going this is um, Alizarian I don't even know if I'm saying that right crimson I was looking for a deep like blood red color and I thought this would work because most of my reds turn out kind of pink so I'm going to put some here in the bottom and I'm going to kind of level it out a little bit in there I might put a little bit more in And I never put uh, water in my paint mixtures. I know a lot of people do, but I just feel like it makes it, it breaks down the paint in some way. I don't know if that's true or not, that's just how I feel about it. Okay, so I'm gonna pour some of my mixture in, and I don't pour it all in at once. I pour it a little bit at a time because um, you never know how much you're gonna need to get the consistency of warm honey. A little bit in at a time. Let's try our mixer. It's actually working better than I thought it would. It's funny how the um, the flow troll is making cells in here while I'm mixing it. <laughs> It's a little noisy as it hits the cup, but I want to make sure I get it mixed pretty well. I still might use my stick um, to mix it a little bit at the end, but I can tell you right now, this is saving my room a lot of work. So yeah, it's still thick, so I'm going to add more in here and continue to mix. If I find that this works really well, <laughs> I'm going to invest in a more industrial one. And already I've hit a snafu here where it came off. I actually think it works well. It's just, you know, for $6.99, it's not really powerful where it's gonna stay on there. It probably loosens up as I'm using it. So, try that again. But the concept is actually working. What gave me this idea is I was looking at some um, milkshake mixers, and I thought, why can't that, why can't that work for paint? If it works for milkshakes.
consistency is. Let me get one of my sticks here. Oh, it's still a little thick. So I'm going to add a little bit more. I don't want to put too much in at one time either because you can always add more to make it the right consistency, but if you get put too much in at once, um, it's really hard to make it thicker again if it's too runny. Sorry for the noise. I'm actually pretty uh, happy with these results so far. Probably going to end up investing in an industrial or milkshake mixer. I'll go around the sides with my tongue depressor, make sure I have it all off the sides so it's all getting mixed. I imagine a, a bigger one will do a much better job too. But I have to say I'm impressed with this little $6.99 model that I got off of eBay. Check the consistency. That's just about right. See, it needs to drip off like warm honey. Well, that's how I like my paints. Some people like them a little thicker. Some people like them a little thinner. But that seems just about perfect for me. I'm going to try with the smaller one. Yeah. That's perfect. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's how I like mine to be. So I have enough of my pouring medium probably to mix another color later on. And I'm going to put it in my bottle. I love the color. It's a nice deep red. Get it all out of there. I hate wasting paint. Sorry if I'm not talking. I can't talk and pour at the same time. <laughs> start out with a sticky bottle that comes soon enough later on put the top on shake it and there you go I have my bottle which I'll label later on 
so that when I ran out of this, I know what color to refill it with. I don't have to wash out the bottle to use with a different color. I know some people do that, but that's just extra work in my eyes. So all in all, I'd have to say that this was a success and um, that would made it, this little tool made it a lot easier to mix my paints. And I will be getting a large one down the line. I'm really excited that this worked. So I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.